so in my couple last videos you seen that we're using bazookas my friend Chet has uh, two bazookas and uh, so we used them a couple times and I like the design and how they catch the goal I decide to make my own using aluminum and nice plexiglass it's more like something like a plexiglass because it's easy to drill and it's very sturdy I use just regular angles, aluminum, some rivets and um, a lot of measuring and uh, hit and miss a lot of drilling cutting see cutting that glass was kind of weird, it was melting so uh, I mean it's some kind of plexiglass I got a free whole whole sheet from uh, a gas station. And it's all coming together. The main point to making it see through was uh, that I worry about to see what's really happening in those traps. And I'm hoping when I will test it that we can really see if uh, if there is the fluid action happening and if the holes don't get clogged and, uh, and I'm hoping to see maybe a little more than what can we see from the real bazookas I made two traps you can see in the design so that should improve to catch the goal a little better maybe and that's what I have All right, guys. I made a bazooka style sluice. Well, trap. It's all see through with see through pipes because that was the main thing. I was worried about if the holes would get clogged so I can see actually each hole so they would not be clogged it's, uh, it's about two feet long you see it's about foot over foot wide and uh, the water goes in the pipes just like a regular bazooka gold sand trap what I did different I made a two traps one first trap second trap the gold will slide on here it will fell hopefully in the first trap in case if you know maybe too much flow or something it would get out it would probably get trapped in the second trap the sand light sand will come out through the hole the heavies it should stay right here we're gonna be testing I will be testing it on a gold creek and I will test it probably with some lead chopped up some lead, lead shots and, uh, and see how much it will catch because what I'm testing actually first uh, I put a 1.8 punch hole plate stainless steel and so you know bigger gold I would lose well I didn't find no bigger gold yet so I'm kind of it's made for the fine gold not made for big gold but there is no big gold much around, so it should catch all the fine gold. I will, uh, I will record the testing, make some nice video, post it up. Alright guys, hey, you can comment, you know, 
whatever you think about it, any improvement, if I did something wrong, if, you know, I'll take any comment, any criticism, I will take it. Go ahead, shoot. Thank you guys.